Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform a median test in SPSS. Now, very briefly, the median test is a non-parametric statistic that assumes even less than the Kruskal Wallace or the Man Whitney U uh, test. And um, I think one of the um, things about the median test is that you do not come across it very often in the literature, published studies, uh, examining data, and you don't come across it very often in textbooks. And I think uh, it's a bit perplexing because the sign test is a very similar test to the median test where the sign test is applied in repeated measures designs where but the median test it's also called moods median test uh is for independent group designs rather than median uh, rather than repeated measures designs which is the sign test equivalent of the median test and you see the sign tests a lot, uh, but you do not see the median test very much, so it's a bit uh, surprising. Uh, you do find papers, I found one paper in particular that said the median test should be quote unquote retired because it's not powerful enough and we've got another other analyses such as Kruskal Wallace to uh, examine ranked data and I think this is misleading because the median test, unlike the Kruskal Wallace test, has less assumptions and in particular it does not assume that your data are distributed in a similar way across all your groups. So the Kruskal Wallace test actually does assume homogeneity or variance. A lot of people think it doesn't, but it does. And I talk about that in the um, Kruskal Wallace test uh, video that I've got. The median test doesn't assume that. Or at the very least you can say it is less sensitive to departures of homogeneity of variance than the Kruskal Wallace test. The Kruskal Wallace test is not uh, robust to it. The median test is much more robust to it. So I think the median test has a place uh, in analyses, um, uh, but if you can avoid using it because it might be more powerful to use something like ANOVA or Kruskal Wallace, then sure, use it. But there actually are cases where the median test is more powerful than the other analyses. And in fact, the data set we're, I'm going to uh, analyze today is one of those cases. So these data are actually fictitious. I've got uh, three locations, three groups. Uh, these are uh, f fictionalized. I've, I'm saying that there are three locations that are providing problem drinking treatments, and the number of drinks consumed by the um, clients is in the um, first column called drinks. So each person has a um, number of drinks. So these people are drinking zero. So this is, um, you know, presumably they're responding to the treatment provided at that location. But there's still a lot of people, there's some people at the high end. And we've got data like that for three groups. And these data are not likely to be normally distributed, particularly because we've got a lot of zeros, so that's the mode. There's a lot of people at the zeros, and then there's a lot of there's people at the high end. Uh, and if you test the homogeneity variance assumption with the traditional Levine's test, you do reject the null hypothesis of equal variances. But then I go on to show that if you use the non-parametric equivalent of the Levine's test in the, in the Kruskal Wallace video series, that you don't violate it. But let's just pretend that we're worried about the violation of uh, uh, violating homogeneity of variance, and we've definitely got non-normally distributed data, and the data might be differentially non-normally distributed. So, I, in my opinion, the most robust way to look at these data is the median test. Now, how do you perform this? I'm going to show you the really quick way to do it in SPSS, and then I'm going to show you how to do it from the ground up, which, mean, which involves a little bit more calculations. But the advantage of doing it from the ground up is that you can actually estimate effect size, uh, which is useful in pretty much any type of analysis. So to, the way to do it in the traditional menu-driven approach in SPSS is to simply go into Analyze, Non-Parametric Tests, and Legacy Dialogues, and K-Independent Samples. Now, Drinks is my dependent variable, so I'm going to put that in the test variable list. And then Groups is my grouping variable. It should be locations, but group is the word I used. And I've got to specify a range. You can't specify your groups. You have to specify a range. So it's one to three. All right? And now I need to deselect Kruskal Wallace and select median. And then I click on OK. So this is the median test. And the median test 
provides me with a table of frequencies. So this is literally uh, the number of people who are uh, greater than the median 